In this video, I'm going to be going over one of the most underrated passing concepts in Madden 22, and we're going to show you how you can actually use this Y corner concept out of the air raid that is an air raid staple to actually be very effective in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I also want to let you know that I upload videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player, and if you're enjoying this air raid kind of mini series that we're doing on the channel, I would really encourage you to check out my Patreon membership. In my Patreon membership, you'll get access to all of my Madden 22 ebooks, including including my full Arizona Cardinals air raid offense, which I'm going to be updating over the course of the next couple of weeks for you guys as well, uh, adding some new formations and things like that. So if you want to check out the full air raid offense, I would really encourage you to join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below. And again, you can join that today for just 10 bucks. There's a link down below if you want to check it out. Okay, guys, so what we're going to be talking about today is the Y corner play out of the spread Y flex. You can find this play in the Arizona Cardinals uh, offensive playbook. Now we've got Zach Ertz here. This is the new player, the uh, new tight end for the Cardinals uh, that we're going to be showing this with. And uh, it's just a really simple play. So we're just going to go over wide corner here. And I'm going to go over kind of a way that we can make this more effective for Madden purposes. But I'm going to show you the first kind of basic level concept. Essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to look to the corner, then we're going to look to the running back, and then we're going to look to the spot. So we're going corner, running back spot route as you can see right here the corner route gets open so we can throw that against cover four um but then as you can see we'll continue through the progression uh the the number one defense that you're going to find that's going to actually make this uh concept really effective is actually the mabel coverage because you'll see here this little spot route is going to be wide open on that little spot now as you notice one of the, my pet peeves about routes and spacing especially in a spread offense is unless we're running kind of like a mesh concept, I really don't like my receivers running into each other because I don't want the user to be able to guard multiple receivers in the same basic lurk, if you will. So uh, what I like to do to kind of maddenize uh, this concept a little bit, we still are going to get the same basic principle, uh, but we're going to show you just a way that I think it, it makes the spacing significantly better and you're going to, I think, be able to just make it significantly better for you. So uh, here's how we're going to do this out of this corner play. Uh, what I like to do is I like to put my running back on an out route. I like to take the triangle receiver and put him on. Uh, you can do one of two things. You can put a curl uh, to him and put a zig to that solo or far outside left receiver. I really like this concept. Um, if you like, but another one that I really like as well is just a simple flat and smart routed in. So if you take a look at this concept, it's just going to help with the spacing. The user is going to have to kind of come back over to the in route, if you will, and then we can kind of work our concept side if you know if everything goes right. So um, the first read is actually for me. I like to look to the running back. Just, just I like to kind of peak the deep coverage. But if the running back's open, I really want to throw him the ball. Um, I, I just I really think the running back out routes, especially from spread type sets this year are so hard to defend. So we want to make them have to respect that. We want to make them have to play hard flats consistently because it's the only zone in the game that's going to be very effective at guarding this route is a hard flat. Um, the corner route, you're going to see here, what I like to do is I will tell you, the corner route, you, you're going to find with this, you're going to have a love-hate love, uh, hate relationship with this corner route. Um, essentially, it's really not designed to be open um, against like a cover three or cover four. It's more of a cover two beater um, or even a man coverage or cover zero, right? Uh, but I will show this real quick here. If I pass lead this hard and outside, I can actually click on and cut that ball off to the sideline. It's one of the unique things about this play. I don't necessarily have to have a vertical pull route. That's Jair Alexander out there, guys, and he has the deep route, uh, deep um, zone knockout uh, ability. So he's a, a really good guy to test this with. And you're going to see he's going to play this pretty well. Um, but what you'll see here is, again, you're just going to click on, and you're just going, and again, I'm, I'm butchering my click on, but you're going to just going to click on and kind of cut that off, and you'll find that you can consistently throw that against cover three. Um, and that's one of my favorite little things, especially off coverage. Off coverage is not really that big of a problem. Uh, it's really more press, pressed. But here's this X factors activated, pass lead down outside. You see how I can kind of fit that in. Okay, so I really, really like that concept. What that's going to do is it's going to force them to have to drop their zone drops back so that their underneath defender can now defend this corner. And this is really where this concept becomes, I think, very, very effective. So now what we're going to see here is they're going to have to have something essentially like this, which is a double Mabel coverage. They're going to have to have something to take the underneath flat to the back, and then they're going to have to have something to take the corner. 
Well, now what you're going to notice is this little spot route to the circle receiver is going to be wide open if they do that. As you can see right there, it's very much so an open receiver that you can hit. So now what they're going to have to do is now they're not only going to have to have a double Mabel concept, but now they're going to have to have a vertical hook on this side as well. And then they're going to basically have to lurk over here. And that's a lot of stuff that they're going to have to do uh, to take this concept away. So you'll see here this vertical hook defender. And typically now your dig will be open over the top of that vertical hook, if you will, as you can see right there. So I love this play. It just forces them to have to use her either the spot route or um, the vertical hook. Now, if you wanted to, this is where, um, if they start to do that adjustment that I just showed you, you can play around a little bit with what you wanna do on the backside of this formation. So uh, what I mean by that is, let's say for example, that you're getting a lot of uh, this vertical hook adjustment and the double Mabel coverage, okay? What you can do is you can curl, triangle, zig the square receiver, and now what you're going to have is this curl is going to be wide open in the middle of the field, okay? So that's a great little check down if you get in trouble. Um, so that is cover three and kind of cover four too. I'll show you cover four drop real quick. Now cover four drop will certainly play this corner out a little bit better. Obviously, you're going to have a lot more open though. You're still going to be able to hit your running back, your, your little spot route. But you'll see here pass lead down and away. Click on, and typically you can kind of cut that off. That time I actually played it fairly well. Uh, let me show it to you one more time, and then we'll move on and talk about another coverage. So again, here you see corner route, pass lead down and away, click on, there it is right there. And if he doesn't catch it, that's one thing, but typically they won't intercept it because of the type of route that it really is, okay? Um, so now let's move to a Tampa 2 style defense. This is where they're gonna have a little bit more underneath coverage over the middle of the field. Now, what you can do is if you have a hot route master, you could put a skinny post on the backside, which is not a bad idea, right? Do a little hitch, a uh, little hitch to triangle, a little uh, skinny post or something like that. That's actually not a bad idea uh, for this concept. But what you're gonna see is this cover two gets crucified. And the reason why is because of the spot route. Now I had a stock cloud flat on the outside there, okay? That's a stock cloud, um, one of the better zones in the game for defending corner routes. And what you're gonna notice is just because of the route combo and the way that it's gonna work together, you're gonna see the cloud's gonna suck in. And now I got a lot of room to be able to throw this ball to Zach Ertz. One of my favorite routes in the game for when my opponent likes to run a cover two defense. Um, that's why it's so good in the red zone as well. And then if we get man coverage, I will say this play is not excellent against man if you don't have a good route running tight end here. But you will see this corner route sometimes gets open. You can always try to just cut it off. If you ever get in trouble, you don't like it, you can just kind of cut it off to kind of essentially uh, kind of buy yourself a, 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 a you know buy yourself some time here. Um, but then the, the biggest thing is what I like to do against man is either hit the running back or hit the uh, deep dig route right there. So that's kind of how I beat man coverage out of this. But this is one of my favorite plays. Uh, it puts defenders in conflict. You're really going to get a lot, I think, of mileage out of this play. Um, last thing I want to show is match. So this is just a basic match defense. And what you're going to see is this corner route really does a pretty good job um, against match. Again, Zach Ertz, if you have a tight end there that has deep out elite, you're going to find a little bit more success than what I'm having with this route. Uh, but what you're going to see is, again, he's going to get kind of an outside leverage, and then you can kind of make a play over there on that outside. So that's how I like to use that play. And again, if you don't want that risky of a throw against match, typically what will happen is this little route to circle um, is going to kind of hold this three rack, and then I can throw the dig in behind it. So I think the flat dig or the curl zig concept on the backside really pairs nicely with the corner route. Um, what you'll see, some uh, spread teams... They'll do something like this, a little double hitch to the backside here. Um, you can certainly do that this year, especially with how easy it is to manipulate yellow zones. But this is the Y corner concept out of the Air Raid 2x2 two two spread. If you want to learn more about the Air Raid offense, again, it's one of my favorite offenses to study in real life. I've written an entire offensive ebook on it. You can get all of my ebooks by joining my Patreon membership for just 10 bucks a month. You can cancel whenever you want to as well. You don't just have, you don't have to sign up forever. You, as soon as you sign up though, you get all the access to all the ebooks. So if you're watching this and you want to check out the Patreon membership, head on down to the description below. Click that link that I put down there for you and uh, you can go check out that uh, offensive guide.